Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. Been wanting to do this post for a while. What I'm gonna do is count down the top 17 people I feel you should follow if you're trying to learn how to use your DSLR camera for video. These people are usually educational. They share what they're learning. Um, they're inspiring. Um, watching some of their videos, you're just like, wow, that's great, I gotta go try that. And they're also very creative. And usually the, what you're gonna find out is people at the top of the list have all three of those things. And some of the people at the bottom of the list maybe just have one or two of these items. So the way I put the list together is it's kind of difficult. What I wanted to do is represent them in such a way where when I get a notification or I see they're, they've created a new video or blog post, it's the excitement level I have when I go to their blog post and I'm like, oh, I know this is gonna be good. So that's kind of the order. All right, coming in at number 17 is M over at Cheesy Cam. M's site is really cool because it's saved me a lot of money over the years. Um, he probably posts two or three times a day, and the guy has got a particular knack at finding these obscure deals that you'd find on eBay. I don't know how he looks through them all day or where he comes up with all this stuff, but definitely check him out if you're looking to save money on some gear. Next up is Richard Harrington. Richard, I can't tell you how much I've learned from this guy over the years. He's very good at creating well-structured content, um, very educational. You can tell he rehearses his stuff before he even puts it on video. Um, he's got some tutorials on how to use Photoshop for video um, that are just mind-blowing. You just should definitely check out and I'll put a link to within the show notes. Number 15 is Luke Newman. Luke is really good at creating epic trailers, short epic trailers. Um, his color grading skills are just really, really good. And he uses, or for the most part, a lot of the tutorials you'll see, he uses the Canon T2i, although he just bought a Canon 5D Mark II. Um, he hasn't done that many tutorials lately, so you should go back into the archives of his YouTube channel and you'll definitely find some gems in there. Coming in at number 14 is Jem Schofield, uh, the C47. I think his, his podcast he calls is the Gearbox. So what amazes me is he creates a video almost every single day, which is insane. Um, he doesn't show much B-roll and he doesn't really go into like media tutorials, but um, over the past year from watching him, I can say I've learned a lot from him. Coming in at number 13 is Ryan Connolly. Ryan does an amazing job at creating a skit for every video he does. And these skits are usually very entertaining. And then after the skit, he usually explains how he did it. Um, on the educational side, he does a lot of stuff with After Effects and he does it quite quickly. So it's not like a real in-depth tutorial. He kind of glances over it very quickly, but you can still get a lot out of it because it's very inspirational and it's very creative, and you should definitely follow. Coming in at number 12 is Tom Antos, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, from Canada. Uh, this guy has got amazing green screen and compositing skills. Um, he's not been doing so many tutorials lately on his channels. He's got two YouTube channels, I believe. But if you definitely go back and take a look at some of the stuff he did earlier, it's just very thorough, step-by-step -step instructions on how to do things in After Effects, and. Premiere Pro, he's a Windows user. Um, definitely great stuff to follow. Very creative, uh, very inspirational, and also educational. Coming in at number 11 is Carl Olson's 16 by nine cinema podcast. He doesn't do really any videos. I think he has one or two videos, but it's a podcast. Uh, you can subscribe to it on iTunes. Um, he always has, or usually has, Chris Fenwick on. And I usually learn something on every single podcast. And what's great about Chris is he's an editor. And that's, you know, I definitely need some better editing skills. So just listening to Chris speak um, with Carl, I will always learn something. So definitely check out his podcast. Coming in at number 10 is Ron Dawson's Crossing the 180 podcast. Again, another podcast. He doesn't do that many videos that I've seen anyway. I haven't really seen his work. But he interviews a lot of people and filmmakers. And what he's really good at is getting into their history and going through it in a very chronological order and seeing how they got into the business. 
she talks a lot about business, um, filmmaking and stuff like that, but there's always some hidden gems in there about you know filmmaking in general, so definitely check his out. Coming in at number nine is Caleb Pike from DSLR Video Shooter. Caleb does a lot of uh, educational tutorials and he does product reviews. Um, some of his earlier tutorials are excellent, like he had one on ND filters, which back then I didn't even know what an ND filter was and uh, influenced some of my buying decision there. Also he's done, he did an excellent one on just the EOS software on how to use it, like when you're filming like this and you have nobody behind the camera um, and how to use it to you know, get focus and everything like that using the software off your laptop. So definitely check his stuff out. Coming at number eight is Vincent LaFerre, which you probably all know. Um, I find him very inspirational and educational. I've watched all six days of his creative live stuff he did with them, um, and I learned a ton. Um, so if you haven't watched that, some, you could watch it, I think it's like 150 bucks per three day episode or whatever. But definitely I learned a ton, not only just you know filmmaking, but editing as well. So definitely check out some of his stuff on his blog. He doesn't really share tutorials on his blog as much, um, but he definitely tells you where the industry is going and some of the stuff that he's doing. Coming in at number seven is Shane Hurlbutt. I think everybody knows Shane. Um, this recent tutorial he's done on Home Depot lighting has been awesome. It's refreshing to see somebody of his caliber talking about you know, lighting you can go pick up at Home Depot. And you gotta love the guy's passion for the DSLR industry. He's like, I'm gonna turn this camera into a digital filmmaking machine. Yeah, he's great. You gotta follow him. Coming in at number six is Philip Bloom. Philip is kind of like Vincent. He stimulates both sides of my brain, left and right, both from you know education to inspiration. Um, he's actually responsible for helping me start my blog. Um, coming up with the idea of sharing my knowledge with you guys. I mean, he's been doing it for like four years. I've been only doing it for like a couple of years, but. Um, and he's very accessible too. I've emailed him a few questions. He's been very nice about answering them. So definitely check out Philip. Coming in number five is Patrick Moreau from Still Motion. Patrick thinks outside the box. Um, he's, he's got a great way of editing and telling a story. Extremely good storyteller. Definitely one of the things I love to do, and he, he allows downloads on Vimeo most of the time, so I'll download the original file, put it in my nonlinear editor and chop it up, and then really look at how he's you know put the, the pieces of the puzzle together to create an awesome story. So you should definitely follow um, Patrick. He's got some great content. And it's interesting, he comes from a, I think a, he was like a major in psychology in college or something like that. So it's fascinating to see him come from that background into filmmaking. Coming in number four is Anton Loramir. I think that's how I pr you pronounce his name, from Loramir Works. Um, I just found this guy a few months ago and he's not educational. Um, he doesn't really share anything he's doing, but I put him so high up on the list because his work is so great. I mean, it, his, He's really good at telling a story. You should definitely watch um, some of the videos he's done with Jasmine Starr. Um, just phenomenal imagery. Um, so definitely check him out. He's just mostly inspirational for me. Coming in number three is Freddie Wong. Freddie and Brandon are awesome. And the reason I put them at number three is not because they're um, educational. They usually do a behind the scenes video for every video they do and they're definitely inspirational. But one of the things that makes them at the top of this list is they're so consistent in being creative. Their videos are off the charts creative. Every single one. Kind of like Mystery Guitar Man but I definitely like Freddie Wong better because he usually tells a better story. Coming in number two is Andrew Kramer from videocopilot.net. This guy is awesome. Um, he creates some of the best tutorials on After Effects that you can find anywhere. Um, and he gives them away for free. He's got a whole series on After Effects and I'm just starting to get better at After Effects. And he does it in a very entertaining way. Um, definitely left brain, right brain, firing on all cylinders on this one. So just definitely check out his site. Coming in at number one is Tom Gilmet. Tom doesn't do that many posts on his blog, but when he does, they're just phenomenal. The guy is a master at narration. 
he did a video I just loved on Time Fest where they went out and you know he did a behind the scenes documentary of all these guys shooting all these different stars and astrophotography. Um, and it was 22 minutes long. And he held my attention the whole way through for 20 minutes, which is just amazing. So you definitely gotta check out Tom's work. All right, that's pretty much it. And I kind of did this video kind of on a selfish front because while I think I'm just scratching the surface of finding these you know, hidden gems of people that are very educational, inspirational, and all that good stuff, um, I wanna hear from you guys. Um, I'm sure there's somebody not on this list that you follow. So if you could, come to my blog or wherever you are, if you're on YouTube or Vimeo, and just leave a comment below um, on somebody you think that has those three qualities. And, um, and I'll start following if the next time I make one of those videos, I will add them to the list. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.